I'm hungry. What's up, Jersey Jeff Eats viewers? Today I am in Colts Neck, New Jersey. I'm on Route 34 right now, heading towards a place called Delicious Orchards. Delicious Orchards is a family farm that's been around for decades here in New Jersey and uh, this time of the year it's a beautiful place to visit. Actually it's a beautiful place to visit any time of the year but uh, especially in the autumn uh, they have apple orchards and a huge store which we're going to check out. Uh, lots of gourmet items and they also have a delicatessen, a fresh produce, pick your own apples, uh, pumpkins this time of the year and just a little bit of everything and it's the perfect time of the year to visit them. I have a little shopping list that I want to take care of and include some baked goods and perhaps I'll pick up a sandwich if the sandwich place is still open. It's about a uh, quarter to four. They close at six. I'm not sure if they're still going to be making sandwiches but if they are uh, they have like uh, paninis and I love paninis. They have a ham and brie panini with apple slices and a special like a honey mustard. Oh, it's just fantastic. Hopefully they're open and I'll order one and I'll show it to you guys. <laughs> So I think the game plan right now is to walk around the outside of Delicious Orchards and uh, show you guys what they're selling, what they're uh, growing and things like that. Then we'll head inside the store. It's a huge store, lots of uh, different gourmet items and produce and things like that. Typically things that you would find on a farm plus some really good gourmet items as well as a butcher shop and a deli and a fantastic bakery. It's all here. We'll check it out shortly. When I'm done shopping, I'll head outside, order that uh, panini, which sounds really good, some fries and some freshly pressed apple cider. They're known for that. They're apple cider here. And we'll uh, enjoy it outside. If you ask me, New Jersey has the sweetest corn and the best tomatoes. Hey, they don't call it the Garden Estate for nothing. This looks like a nice spot after I'm done shopping to uh, enjoy our little late lunch early dinner. But that's after we're done shopping, we have to head inside now.
So in planning this video today, I decided while I'm here, I'm going to pick up some uh, apple cider donuts. It's one of their specialties here. It's very good. Again, they press their own apple cider here. And uh, the apple cider donuts come in three varieties. They have uh, cinnamon sugar, powdered sugar, and uh, no sugar. And today I decided to get the powdered sugar. All the baking here is done on the premises and it's all delicious. And I guess that means they're living up to their name. They're $6.99 for six and they're well worth it. The funny thing is a couple people asked me today, uh, what are you doing later this afternoon? And I said, well, I plan on making a video for the new channel. I'm heading over to Delicious Orchards. Then my shopping list started to grow because some people were saying, hey, I love their brownies. Can you pick up some brownies for me? And of course I said, sure. Hey, can you pick up one of those apple crumb pies that they have? And I'm like, okay. And then another person's like, I love their produce. Can you pick up some zucchini? I'm like, sure. Well, next thing I know, I have a shopping list and a video to record. I gotta tell you guys, the pies here are not cheap. They're $16.99 each, but they are extremely good. They're very heavy. They're about five pounds each. They're baked on the premises. The best pies I have ever had in my entire life. Definitely worth 17 bucks if you ask me. And I know some of you are gonna say $16.99 for a pie? No way, but if you ever tried one here, You'd be one of those people saying, listen, while you're there, can you pick me up a pumpkin pie and a blueberry pie? The truth is you can go to a grocery store and get a much cheaper pie in a box and it, chances are it's gonna be loaded with sugar, corn syrup, vegetable oil. These aren't those kind of pies. These are like right out of the oven, grandma made pies. And uh, you definitely wanna treat yourself to one every once in a while. Ah, uh, there's the brownies. I got to pick up two of those for a friend with nuts. When I was planning this new channel, Jersey Jeff Eats, I was uh, putting a lot of thought into it and decided it's not just going to be me eating fast food in a car, which, yes, I'm going to be doing that. It's not going to be me just uh, checking out the latest casual restaurants and showing you around town, which, yes, I'm going to be doing that. And it's not going to be me just uh, shopping in these gourmet shops and Italian specialty shops and farms and things like that. But yes, I'm going to be doing that also. It's going to be a little of everything. I'm going to be all over New Jersey. And yeah, there'll be some things that I like, some things that I don't like. And I'm going to take you guys along on the journey. I've already got more than a dozen specialty markets I want to show you guys, so that'll be coming up sometime in the future here on the Jersey Jeff Eats channel. Thank you. 
This is Gavon, the Jersey Jeff Eats mascot. Spot him somewhere in this video, not here. I'm just showing you what he looks like. Spot him somewhere else in this video as a quick flash in the background. And uh, leave a comment below where you spotted him as far as a timestamp. And I'll give you a shout out on an upcoming video. I love peppers, from sweet bell peppers to very hot ghost peppers, this place has them all. All kinds of dressings, oils, and vinegars. The area we're in now is all nuts, candies, and coffee. The coffee just smells unbelievable. Uh, every room that you go into in this place, there's a different smell, and it just really drives you crazy. Years ago, I was in Hawaii, and I don't remember what restaurant it is, but for the very first time in my life, I tried Kona coffee, which is what they serve in Hawaii. That's where it comes from. It's 100% Kona coffee. I fell in love with the taste and aroma of that coffee, and it really spoiled me for a couple of years. These days, a pound of Kona costs about 100% Kona. There's a lot of blends out there, but 100% Kona coffee is about 50 $50 a pound, obviously way too rich for my blood, but uh, best coffee I ever had, and I was drinking it for several years back then. And the reason I bring this up is uh, Delicious Orchard used to sell 100% Kona coffee. I don't know if they still do. It's, like I said, extremely pricey these days, and I don't know how well it would move, but I didn't check while I was there. I should have, but I'm sure I'll be back again. You have to be careful shopping for that kind of stuff. Like I said, it has to be 100% Kona. It's kind of like going to the regular grocery store and seeing cranberry juice cocktail. That's mostly pear juice with like a splash of cranberry juice. Uh, the 100% cranberry juice is like four times more expensive. By the way, you can always sample stuff here at Delicious Orchard, like uh, the coffee and uh, all, I think they always have the cider for free samples. If you're a cheese freak like me, they've got plenty of choices from around the world here.
Not only is the uh, cafe open where I wanted to get that panini, but it's quite busy. Lots of people are ordering a drink that they have on special now. It's kind of like a apple cider vanilla ice cream slushy. It's a apple cider slush with a, a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Sounds delicious. I'm just not in the mood for all that sugar right now, but it's certainly a seasonal item and uh, everyone seems to be ordering it. Kind of like a apple pie a la mode slushy. Maybe next time for me. So I got a uh, panini on chia pata bread. It's got ham, apples, and brie cheese. I love brie cheese. Who am I kidding? I love all cheese. I also got a uh, side of fries and, of course, apple cider. It's delicious orchards, right? Just for those of you who don't know, a panini is a really delicious sandwich placed on a grill and then just squashed as squashed as you can get it. It's really delicious. I never thought of putting apples on a ham and cheese sandwich. It's a great idea. Not just any cheese, it's a brie, which I really do like. It's really good. Everything is melted. It's really hot. I mean, temperature hot, not spicy hot. And those apples really add something to this sandwich. I'm going to have to add apples to more sandwiches now. Uh, but it does make it a little sweet. So perhaps like a tartar apple would be nice with this sandwich rather than a sweet apple. But regardless, it's really delicious. The cool thing about this place too is everything is so super fresh. For example, the uh, chia pata bread that they make the panini on is baked here. Um, French fries, the potatoes are probably grown here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume they are. And by the way, the French fries. I didn't expect much from French fries uh, as far as delicious orchard. Maybe a restaurant, but delicious orchard. I wasn't expecting much. These are really good. They're crispy on the outside. You, they're actually crunchy on the outside. And the inside is very tender. I love this time of the year and I love visiting places like this this time of the year. It really puts you in the mood. I love the whole sweater weather, I guess you could call it. Um, nice walks on the beach, on the boardwalk. Maybe I'll bring a couple of those to the New York Channel in the next week or two. And uh, just, it's nice to open up the house, not have the air conditioner on, not have the furnace on, but just open the windows and let the house air out. Just really love this time of year. As much as I like juice, I don't like to order it too much because, well, it just really messes with your uh, blood sugar and a lot of things. So, but this place is known for their cider. It's fresh. It's pressed right here on the premises, and uh, everyone's ordering it. They also have a apple cider slushy that they put a little scoop of vanilla ice cream in. They're known for their drinks here as well. As you can see, the line was getting longer and longer, but it's good. Good, fresh cold. So I came here to work basically and I guess have dinner at the same time and uh, I, 
told a couple friends and family that I was coming, and of course they all gave me things that they wanted me to pick up while I was here. I picked up a uh, two brownies with walnuts. That's for my sister. She loves the brownies that they make here. I got this awesome apple crumb cake. Hi. I'm gonna try to do this without dumping it over. It's really good. It's not cheap, it's like $18, I think. But this thing weighs like 10 pounds. I got it for my mom and dad. I guess they like apple crumb pie, and they're definitely gonna like this one. And for myself, I got these apple cider donuts that they're also known for. Uh, they have them in the sugar, and they also have them in the cinnamon. I got the sugar this time. This, I believe, was $6.95 for six donuts. So, again, they're known for their apple cider donuts. So I uh, not only got some work done and had dinner, but I did some shopping at the same time. I forgot to mention it was at the bottom of the basket. I picked up some produce, too. My uh, panini was $9.99. The french fries were $4.49, and the cider was $2.75. Everything came to $17.23 plus a tip. Definitely worth it. Uh, this is stuff that you just can't find elsewhere in like uh, Applebee's or other casual sit-down places or fast food. Definitely find some unique stuff, uh, not only for shopping, but for eating as well, like I did today. So, hope you enjoyed uh, Delicious Orchards, and uh, hopefully someday you can make it down here and check this place out. It's really nice. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jersey Jeff Eats channel and leave a comment what you thought on the video. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the Jersey Jeff Eats channel. It's a brand new channel, very important. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below.